good morning in continuation of uh, previous video now we explained the uh, uh, different modes of operation that is mode 0 mode 1 and mode 2 so in this lecture video i'm going to explain uh, mode 3 operation and then programming the timers mode 3 operation <coughs> as we know it is a split timer mode again if it is used as a timer uh, crystal frequency divided by roughly the source of clock that is applied to uh, one input of AND gate and uh, TR0 here specifically TR0 only because TR0 can be used as a timer bar counter and that is applied to TL0 that is 8 bit counter okay. so and it uh, rolls over when FF becomes a 0 that time TF0 is used as a flat bit and then interface occurs so here it can be used as a timer or counter another one timer one okay timer zero here uh, tl0 is used as a 8 bit counter and th0 is used as another 8 bit counter for this timer plug one is used timer plug one is used and run control bit is tr1 and it can be used as only timer See, TL0 is used as a timer 0 bar, sorry, a timer bar counter, 8 bit timer bar counter, and the timer plug used is TF0 and run control bit is TF0. And similarly, another one, TH0 is another 8 bit counter used as only the timer. Timer plug 1 is a flag bit, flag bit, and TR1 is used. So, timer 0 is split. Timer 0 is split into two different timer. Okay. So TL0 and TH0. TL0 is used as timer bar counter and TH0 is used as only the timer. For TL0, timer plug TF0, that means uh, plug and control bits of timer 0. For TH0, plug and uh, control bit of control bit of timer 1 is used. This is called timer split 2 split timer mode mode 3 two 8 bit timers using timer 0 that means in mode 0 1 or 2 timer 0 and 1 may be programmed independently but in mode 3 timers do not operate independently timer 1 stops counting its control bits uh, control bit tr1 and plug uh, tf1 are used by the timer 0 that is th0 timer 0 becomes two completely separate 8 bit uh, counters TL0 controlled by TR0 and set the timer plug TF0 when it rolls over from FF to 0, 0. It can be used as a timer bar counter and TH0 controlled by TR1 and sets the timer plug TF1. It can be used only timer. So while timer 0 is in mode 3, timer 1 can be used in mode 0, 1 and 2 but no interrupts will be generated because the timer 0 using the TF1. So then timer 1 can be used to generate the baud rate for serial communication uh, in any other modes, but that does not depend on the interrupt for a proper operation. So this is what mode 3, timer mode 3 operation. So we call it the split timer mode. TR0, timer 0 is used independently as two separate 8 bit uh, timer bar, timer bar counter for TR0 and only timer for TH0. Now we'll see steps to program in mode 1 to generate the time delay using timer in mode 1 following steps are taken one is initialize T mode register with 01H for timer uh, 0 and 10H for timer 1 load initial register initial values to the registers at TLX and THX and so start the timer Keep monitoring the timer clock using the instruction jump on no bit tf tor gate and get out of the loop when tf becomes i so stop the timer clear the timer clock for next round and go back to step two to load uh, tlx and thx again and for step two initialize t mode with uh, 0 2 for timer 0 and 2 0 for timer 1 load th is the initial value start the timer keep monitoring the clock and get 
out of the loop when it is becomes one stop the timer clear uh, timer clock for next round and go back to step four because no need to uh, do uh, reloading of initial value because it is auto reloading okay. auto reload so these are the steps to be followed to program timers in mode two now we'll consider one uh, example it is appeared in the exam calculate the time delay for the following subroutine program assume the crystal frequency 60l is uh, 11.0592 megahertz this is the program given okay uh, this is the delay routing delay routing so we need to find the delay time now we'll see <coughs> your time of frequency is a crystal frequency divided by 12 that is 921.6 kilohertz so time of period is 1.085 megahertz now we need to calculate how many machine cycles it counts how many machine cycle it counts so here uh, delay calculation excluding the overhead due to instruction in the loop that means so these are the instructions are available now so that the time required to execute this instruction are excluded see number of counts maximum count is 4 fh minus initial count the loaded is ff f2 ff f2 so it becomes 0 d that means in decimal it is 13 plus 1 plus 1 is required to rolls over to rolls over from maximum to 0 d so totally it counts 14 machine cycle so extra clap to rolls over from uh, 4 fs to 0 so the delay is 14 machine cycle into each machine cycle period is 1.085 microsecond that is equal to 15.9 microsecond this is the delay this is excluding the uh, overhead due to instructions in the loop if we include that if we include that so these are the machine cycle request to execute so totally it is 28 machine cycle so delay is equal to 28 into 1.085 microsecond that is 30.38 microsecond okay so for square wave t is equal to two times two times of uh, delay so 60.76 microsecond and it is the time period frequency is 1 divided by 60.76 microsecond that is equal to 16.45 kilo hours so this is what uh, how do we calculate the delay now we'll see assembly language program to generate a pulse using mode 1 so pulse in the sense i we have i pulse and low pulse i pulse in the sense initially it is zero initially it is zero it becomes one it becomes one for a while for a while so that means we can say 0.25 millisecond for that 0.25 millisecond so initially zero make one and provide a delay of 0.25 millisecond then it becomes i pulse that means transition from zero to one and low pulse in the sense is reverse initially it is i it becomes a low and provide a delay initially one make zero and provide delay so that, that means transition from uh, one to zero this is what low pulse and high pulse now uh, we'll write a program how do we generate the pulses uh, see now we need to find the values to be loaded into timer so in the previous example we observed that actually some value is loaded with that value how do we calculate the delay time now delay time is given so we need to find the values to be loaded into time so the some steps has to be followed okay they are first divide the desired delay by timer period and then perform maximum count minus n n is the decimal value obtained in the step one uh, so for example mode one 65535 maximum count minus n plus one plus one because uh, additional machine cycle required to roll over for mode 2 maximum is uh, 255 minus n plus 1 so then convert the result of step 2 okay into uh, hexadecimal into hexadecimal then uh, xx is the uh, the value to be loaded in tl0 or tl tl1 and yo is the uh, value to be loaded into tl th1 or th is 0 okay tl value is xx and th value is yy 
So now we'll uh, see how do we calculate the values to be loaded into this pulse that is uh, delay of 0.25 millisecond. So assume crystal frequency 11.059 megahertz. Then timer period is timer frequency. This frequency divided by 12. And timer period is one over uh, timer frequency. That is 1.085 microsecond. Then divide uh, delay per to 0.25 millisecond. So divide the desired delay by 1.085 microsecond. So you will get a value 230. Okay. Then perform. 65,536 minus 230. So that is 65,306. Convert that into hexadecimal. It becomes FF1AH. So uh, TH, if you use time of 0, TH0 value is FF and TH0 value is 1A. So now let's see. We'll generate a, a pulse on 4 pin P1.2. So use timer 0 in mode 1. <laughs> That means this is the value to be loaded into T modern register. So for timer 0, lower 4 bits are used. So to select the mode 1, so we load 0, 1 to the M1 and M0. Since it is the timer, it is 0, gate is 0. Okay. So T mode value is 0, 1 H as I explained in the step uh, to be followed in to program the timers. So let's write a program. Start with the uh, 0, RG00H. Zero, zero uh, load as uh, so load 0 1 into t mod that means to select timer 0 in mode 1 then load initial value as we obtained tl0 is 1ah and th0 with fh and then uh, suppose if it is uh, initially it may be 0 or it may be 1 so better you clear that pin clear that pin using the instruction clear uh, p1.0 p1.2 it becomes 0 then set then set set bit p1.1 then uh, start the timer start the timer already initial value is loaded start the timer and keep monitoring the timer clock using the instruction jump no bit tf0 again and again there only it is keep waiting there and it will come out of the loop whenever tf become tf0 becomes 1 when it come out uh, stop the timer clear the clock and uh, write the control loop and come out of the program so this is just to generate a pulse i pulse end of the program so this is the program to generate uh, i pulse similarly to generate the low pulse okay only these two instruction are changes these two instruction are changes initially it is make it one and then make it zero make it zero provide the delay provide the delay only these two instruction are changes to generate the low pulse so this is about uh, programming to generate a pulse. So in the next video, we'll explain how to generate a, a square wave. Thank you.